Hey guys, Cyrus here, and today I will be showing you how to jailbreak untethered for iPhone 3G and iPod Touch 2G MB models. This will work with the iPod Touch 4 and the iPhone 4 generation and the iPhone 3GS new boot ROM, but they will all be tethered. The iPhone 3GS old boot ROM will also be untethered. So I'm going. You're going to need Red Snow and your firmware. I have both, like the link for both in the description. So you're gonna run Red Snow as administrator. Just click yes. But this here, I'm gonna show you guys what to do to avoid it getting stuck at uploading RAM disk. You're gonna right click while it's already open. Go down to properties and click compatibility and click run as service pack 3 windows xp service pack 3 and click ok and see we got the iphone there connected you're gonna need to go ahead and turn it off you can turn it off now or wait i'm just gonna go ahead and turn it off now just wait for it to go off Okay, once it is off, you will hit browse and you will be browsing for your IPSW and mine is right there. Just click open and it's going to process it. Okay, now it says it's been successfully identified and hit next. And depending if you have an MC model or an MB model iPod or iPhone, it will tell you that it will be a tethered jailbreak meaning you cannot have as many options as I do like I have a lot of lot of features here like I can install iPod baseband now, I don't know what that would do so I'm just not gonna get it but I'm gonna have Cydia and multitasking and home screen wallpaper and battery percentage you go ahead and click on whatever you want and you just click next and I was going to tell you to make sure that it is both off and plugged in. Mine's off. It's plugged in. And basically what it wants you to do next is when you hit next down there, it's going to tell you put into DFU mode. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And as soon as I get out of DFU mode, we'll come right back. Hey guys, Cyrus here. This is on the easiest part of getting it in and out of DFU mode. I'm just holding down the home button it helps if you hold down the home button but you really don't have to hold down the home button for this part you see the phone came on I'm just gonna go ahead and keep holding it down I heard that it really helps a lot and this reboot process takes it some time so we're gonna have to wait through all this see how the RAM disk didn't freeze and it went all the way through that's because of how we ran out as administrator and Windows Service Pack 3. And see now it tells you the rest of the process will take place on your device. You just go ahead and hit finish. And the rest of it is taking place on the device. So you can go ahead and unplug it right now. But yeah, you will need Red Snow and your firmware. I will be posting a link for the firmware in the description and for Red Snow. This is beta here hold on let me open it up this is beta f 6 yeah beta 6 there we go sorry I didn't really understand that part but as far as the I get a little while see now it says patching kernel or placing no now flashing nor and all this will take some time. I will come back. No, you know what? If you're doing this on a tethered device, like I mentioned, the iPod Touch 4 or the iPhone 4G or the iPhone 3GS new boot ROM, when it boots up, your Cydia will be white. It will be white on this, too. But don't worry about it being white on this because you'll just have to click on an update in Cydia and it will uh, make it normal colored but as far as the tethered devices go you will need to go back into red snow here I'll show 
and you would hit browse open up your firmware next so you would have to click just boot tethered right now okay you would click that just that nothing else and then you would hit next and it would tell you to make sure it is off and plugged in and then you would hit next and it would have a different phase of DFU mode that it would tell you to go through and when you went through that then your city would work again let's say it runs out of battery and you don't have your laptop you cannot it won't work you will just have to like live life without it till you get to your laptop or whatever you're using so I want to really recommend doing this on the iPod Touch 4 or the iPhone 3GS new boot ROM or the iPhone 4 okay I back now it is rebooting as you can see yeah this whole jailbreak didn't even take their jailbreak trust me that could be a real pain having a tethered jailbreak like I personally have an iPod touch 4G which I'm not going to upgrade to 4.2.1 because I enjoy an untethered jailbreak. Okay, just boot it up right now. You slide to unlock. You can see there's Cydia right there. And let me show you what firmware I'm running. Settings. Uh, general about 4.2.1 right there I just hit out of that and there it is and you see city is white but it will load I just clicked on it it will load and you see I have that battery percentage see is in initiating initializing file system you see I have the battery percentage not how well Cydia will exit when complete I guess I'll just come back once it has rebooted and Cydia is working oh never mind Let's see slide to unlock And if you notice, Cydia is still white. When you click on it, it'll tell you you'll have two updates. And I will be making videos on how to get free apps and cool themes, like and cool tweaks. I will be making videos on those. So let's just wait for this thing to boot up. This thing takes a while. See, there we go. We have two changes. And when you update your changes, it will make them. It will make Cydia go back to normal, you guys. This thing is so slow. But yeah, there you go. Welcome to Cydia. We are running. Oh, and another way for you to tell uh, if your iPod is an MB model or MC model, you go to Settings. And well, I'm already in about, but see, MB model, see where it says model MB, that's where you can tell. But okay, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I will be making more tutorials.